For City of Medicine Science teacher Vance Kite, watching his students create something that will change someone's life makes his job worth it. I'm really proud of my students. Like I, just seeing them around, talking to all of you today, and like seeing them working on the hand and their empathy. I'm really proud of the work that they're doing today. Kite's Disease and Society class decided to build prosthetic hands for three children across the country, including Matthew De Francisco from Franklinton. De Francisco got his first look at the design today. Like, it's it's really cool how it's being done, and I can't wait to get it. Students use a 3D program that gives them the ability to design, create, and literally print out the hand using this machine. The process is a tedious one. They had to take the 3D designed file and scale that properly. So once they had measurements from the parents, they got the file to be the right size, take that file, put it onto the printer, printer prints it out, assemble it, and you're done. It's going to be like 100% functional, so like he can grasp, clap, and do like basically everything else that we can do but more with his hand. 12-year-old Matthew says he loves the design and the fact the designers are just a few years older than him is not a big concern. The feeling that they can do whatever anyone else can do as long as they put their minds to it. It's just, it's cool to know that for like 20 bucks in a few hours, you can change somebody's life. A life that will get a helping hand. Wait, wait, what's wait. next? I'm Mike Gonzalez, WNCN News. For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.